Well, they know it's going to cause everything to break down. It's about, I have the textbooks. They say, we're going to destroy their families. Mike Rivera? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's all about control. And I notice as we have all these governors starting to slash the state budgets and they're talking about reducing health care for poor families. We just had that happen here in Hawaii. The one area of government that is not seeing budget cuts is the surveillance, the spying, the control, the child protective services, the elements of dictatorship. They're still being fully funded. Mike Rivera, we'll talk to you again in one month, probably sooner. Always appreciate your work over whatreallyhappened.com. We'll see you soon, my friend. Thanks a lot. Aloha. Aloha to you, my friend. Uh, he'll be on Jimmy's later today, 5 o'clock. Okay, uh, more of your calls straight ahead. And then I'm going to break down the cashless society control grid. Wait till you hear this. Stay with us. All right, I'm going to spend 40 minutes coming up in the next segment. The rest of the hour will pull up your carpet joins us going over a small slice of the casual society, cybersecurity, global straitjacket, full-spectrum dominance grid. And that's what the Pentagon calls it itself. And last night and today, I probably wrote 15 pages of notes just of every little point. And I printed a bunch of articles to back up what I'm saying. But as bad as this is going to sound, this is nothing compared to what it really is. Nothing. You've heard the guy about the Walmart employees. If somebody grabs their kid by the arm and says, no, you can't have that toy, cameras are on you, they record your face, take digital photos, the police are waiting for you to take your kids. That's why you pull up in front of Walmart, and the lady's got four kids in the car, some of them teenagers. She walks five feet to throw money in the Salvation Army box, remember, and the police were there, arrested her, CPSed all the kids, including the two-year-old, because she opened the car, locked it in the winter, ran over to the money in. They... They're watching just for white glove inspection. One thing, no due process, everything's gone. Your property, your kids, everything. This government is hyper evil. They've trained everybody basically to be spies now. It's just hellish what they've done. And they, again, all the Homeland Security, everything is about going after patriots, conservatives, gun owners, people that say, don't tread on me, uh, and, you know, fly the Gadsden flag. It is so over the top, we're being hit from every angle. It's just amazing. I'm going to take some of your calls coming up here in just a few minutes. Before we do that, though, because I get so many calls and questions about it, and he hadn't been on with us in over a month, I wanted to get a Cola Blues Tyler Palmer on, the designer and head of the company, co-CEO over there. I wanted to get him on because, well, they just mailed one to Jesse Ventura. He saw one at Willie Nelson's house and really wanted one when he was here. And he said, hey, I want one of those. How do I buy one? And I just said, look. We'll just send you one from a cola blue, and he just got his yesterday. Uh, it grabs water out of the atmosphere. That's what clouds are for those that don't know. They are water vapor, and it's 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 humidity. You know, like when you hear humidity today, sixty five percent, or it's a muggy eighty percent humidity. In average humidity, you get seven and a half gallons a day, and that's where they're smaller units. They have bigger ones if you want them. Computerized, but very simple. Hot cold water. How much water? What the humidity is? seven filters it goes through. I wanted to have him on for a few minutes to talk about the system. You don't have to have a well water or anything. They have solar panels you can get you know, to just run the unit, even if you don't want to be uh, on the grid and running off the power system. This is the thing to have in the city, in the country, you name it. And the military and governments buy the big humidifiers and even some of the small ones from a cola blue. So it's good to have Tyler Palmer on with us. Tyler, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me again, Alex, and hello to all the listeners. Um, I was listening to the show earlier, and I thought, you know, how long can we last without water once this control grid gets in, uh, implemented? And uh, it's a time now to get ready and get ready with water, with energy, with food. Uh, it's, it's a very crucial and critical time to get the message out, and I'm glad that your show is a vehicle for doing that. Well, I'm just sitting here thinking of the control grid and things I haven't written down on these pages coming up, and I thought, oh, kill switch is being built into all the cars, mm -hmm. microphones and cameras on all the computers. Uh, there's no way to keep track of all of this. I mean, it's just getting too insane. Tell folks about the Ecola Blue and how folks get it, and I know you're offering a discount today. Yeah, um, well, the Ecola Blue, as you said, it, it takes the uh, humidity in the air, and it condenses that humidity and makes drinking water out of the humidity in your air. Um, it doesn't just grab the humidity and, and serve it up. It filters it through uh, uh, essentially 
seven filters, one reverse osmosis system, three uh, activated carbon filters, uh, and, and then one granular uh, media that has uh, uh, like diatomaceous earth in it, uh, which is uh, sort of a way of straining out, you know, smaller uh, uh, organisms and whatever might be in the in the uh, atmosphere. So there's a filter made out of plankton skeletons, one of the one of the best filters in the world. Right, and and also we use the uh, the ultraviolet light. It has a uh, 245 nanometer UV light in the upper storage tank, and we've we've recently added one to the lower storage tank as well. So there's two UV lights in there now, and uh, some people say it's overkill, but when you taste the the water, it certainly speaks for itself, and. Uh, uh, we just got a, a big shipment of them in, and if you want to order them for Father's Day or for just getting prepared, we we do have a special today. It's Father's a Day? Oh, <laughs> sounds like, ooh, Al-Qaeda. Better call it, ooh, Fathers, Patriots, Founding right. Fathers. This is, don't give anybody a don't tread on me shirt for Father's Day. Don't give them an Ecola Blue. Uh, uh, absolutely. Tell folks about the special. I'm sorry I interrupted. That's okay. Um, it was 10% off plus free shipping. So... Uh, the ship, shipping is a hundred dollar value and ten percent off thirteen fifty, so that's twelve one thousand two hundred and fifteen dollars. You can get that by calling eight hundred six nine one six zero four three. Again, eight hundred six nine one six zero four three. That's one eight hundred six nine one six zero four three or a cold blue dot com. E C O L O blue dot com. That's right. And uh, promo code Alex Jones, and we'll have this promo available until Friday, June fifth. So we hope people will call up and and uh, and get get one for themselves or for their friends and family, and and uh, let's get prepared because you can only uh, last about three days without water. Um, well, I mean, plus this is even if you got well water, a lot of wells are contaminated. Some of them are great. But this is out of the atmosphere, and then it goes through filters. You can't get clearer. You can't get purer. You can't get better tasting. This is just, just an amazing system, and anybody that's used it gets completely addicted. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, acolablue.com or that phone number one more time for folks. We'll put it up on screen for people at prisonplanet.tv. It's 1-800-691-6043, one 800 691 6043 or ecolloblue.com, big links up on infowars.com and prisonplanet.com. Not only is it one of the best deals out there on a high-quality atmospheric water generator, you're getting about what it sounds like about 20% off today, and they also are patriots. Turns out okay. Tyler's been a listener for many, many years. Thank you so much, sir, for coming on the show with thank us. Thank you, and thank you to the listeners, and everybody uh, get prepared, and I'll speak to you soon, Alex. You better take care. Thank you. All right, there goes uh, our guest, Tyler Palmer, ecolablue.com. Let's take a few phone calls now, and then I'm preparing to get into the cashless society control grid and what the big cybersecurity announcement means. So that is coming up. Right now, let's uh, go to, pulling up my call list here, Roger in Missouri. Go ahead, sir. Hey, Alex, uh, my answer to that last caller is don't go to Walmart. I haven't been to Walmart in three years, but that's not what I called for. Uh, Look, I tried to go to IGA in Port Aransas when there were probably 20 people in there at 930 before it closed on a Friday night. I already told the story. And, I mean, the guy yeah. literally came up and looked at my shirt, the security guard. Correct. I wear my 911 T-shirt all the time and get funny looks. But uh, I mean, they're trained to literally spy on us. But, I mean, this is not freedom, folks. No, it's not. I'm a I'm a disabled Marine from the Vietnam conflict and uh, also an ex-police officer. I've talked to you before. I used to live in Austin. Uh, I was waterboarded. I was uh, went to through survival school. I was not only waterboarded. I was put in a box that was smaller than I was tall and beat on and uh, taken out, put on a stool, uh, ropes my hands tied behind my back, and uh, stools kicked out from under me. Uh, and don't do the waterboarding. I've had problems.